Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 best point guards in NBA 2K23, my team. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. This is tough. These positions become harder and harder to rank as the year progresses because we get more and more elite cards. But starting off at number 10 for me is going to be Playoffs Devin Booker, and mainly because Playoff D book got two evos that make him even better with his two evos he gets slight stat boost he's got incredible honestly near invincible stats in most important areas 50 hall of fame badges including pretty much every single key hoff in the game for a guard steph base with d book up run very quick is amazing his leaner is very good trey escape the lid behind the back uh, quick drops off one he's an incredibly complete incredibly good card but he is only 6'6 does not have the best player build i don't love that aspect of it everything else about the card though i think is incredible i just think there's a couple Couple guys that I do prefer over him, which is why he comes in at only number 10. Number nine is SGA, who admittedly does not have the stats or badges as D book and is also only 6'6, but he's got a better player book. I like him more on the defensive end of the court. I feel like even though his stats and badges aren't quite as good, he plays a little bit better uh, overall, in my opinion. He's still an elite shooter, still an elite slasher, still has quick drops, still has Trey Escape, Lillard behind the back, Lowry size up, or an elite release, D Mitch leaner, which is probably just as good as the D book leaner. It's not normal to Trey fade, but it's still a very good fade. I think SGA is one of the more underrated people in the game although i've seen this card a lot he's really good for his value especially i think he's an incredible card and i think he kind of goes under the radar and definitely a guy you should consider picking up if you're looking for more of a slightly above budget point guard option now dominique wilkins is going to come in at number eight i understand he's an invincible card and he's certainly very good but I don't think he can be higher than number eight, man, because I don't love his release. 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan is solid size. Hot spots from everywhere. The stats and badges are obviously going to be incredible with him having, obviously, invincible stats and badges. Only badges that he doesn't have on Hoff that would be kind of nice would be like maybe Dimer, Chase Down Artist, Brick Wall. That's about it. Um, his release, though, isn't that great. It's kind of hitchy. It's nice and quick, and it's easy enough to green, but when you get a bad catch or something like that, it's tough to green. That's my biggest complaint with it. He does have damage leaner as well, which is still very solid. He's got um, no front clutches or normal front clutches, I should say, or quick drops but that's okay um rest size up ball escape a little behind the back are still elite six he's an incredible card i just think he's got a couple things that i don't totally love as much which is why he's only number eight despite being an invincible card number seven is going to be ron artest love his release he's an elite defender has very capable size really really good card as well six seven with six ten wingspan hot spots from everywhere 30 hoffs he's got really nice all-around hoffs an incredible defender of course i mean the defensive stats are unbelievable but he's nice and fast he's a great shooter and a great slasher as well moves very well with the d-match size of Trey escaped a little behind the back. I like the release a lot. Trey Fade is incredible. This card I might even be underrating a little bit, only putting him at number seven because he's incredibly complete and incredibly good. I just think there's so many good point guards in the game right now that it's tough to rank these guys super high. Like MJ at number six, Hero MJ. He's got one of the best couple releases in the game with the KPJ base, but he's only 6'6". Six, six. Um, he's still obviously incredible. 40 hops, hotspots from everywhere. Near invincible stats again in, in pretty much every crucial area. Um, shooting badges are amazing. Defensive badges are amazing, but the playmaking and slashing are also incredible. Um, his animations are just so good. MJ dribble stop, or sorry, MJ dunk animations uh, with the Lowry size of Trey Escape, the behind the back again. Top tier six. KPJ base, one of the best bases in the game, and Trey Fade. He's another incredible 300 and an amazing all-around card. Just a tiny bit undersized at 6'6". Six, six. I don't love the MJ upper, but the KPJ base is incredible and makes up for it. But still, I'm only putting him at number 6, which is saying a lot. Got the other Invincible PG, which is Magic Johnson here at number 5. I like Magic. I don't love Magic. I, I do. In every aspect except for his release. Everything else is incredible. He moves incredibly well. He's huge, really good player build. Incredible slasher. Amazing, obviously, stats and bad, as we know that with him being an Invincible card. The main problem with Magic that makes him kind of not higher than five even though he uh, does have great size and great movement and all that is that his release just isn't that good he might have the worst release on this list or one of the worst i just think the size the stats the badges the movement that he has all those things make him so good still that he does deserve a spot very very high on him on this list i just can't put him higher than number five to be completely honest because i don't like the release i like everything else and i think he's a great card i just I don't know, man. you got to be really a, even a little bit better, I feel like, to crack higher than the top five. This is going to be the most controversial play on, player on this list. Hito Turkoglu at number four. 
People are going to disagree with that. I understand he's only a Galaxy Opal, but he's 6'10 with a base 98 type release, which is absolutely insane. Hotspots, remember, still super complete stat and badge wise in all the key areas. Nice and fast. Great shooter. Great slasher. Really good perimeter defender. The size helps him out in the interior. He's got all the key badges still, including terms of shooting, playmaking, slashing, and defense. The most important badges he's got him. The stock to base tray up around very quick is the closest release to base 98 I've seen all year. He's got normal leaner. He's still got great six. He's got front clunch duck animations. I think between the size, the fact he's still super complete stat and badge rise and especially the release and the animation still being elite at 610 makes him in my opinion a top four pg despite only being a galaxy opal at number three i'm going with hero ben simmons who kind of has a similar flaw to magic in that his release just isn't very good but he's so good everywhere else and probably the best defensive pg in the game that he's still a top three point guard for me 611 hot spots from everywhere 40 halves uh finishing badges are insane but the shooting badges are unbelievable the playmaking is incredible and obviously the defense is ridiculous being 611 with the incredible defensive ability he has my opinion the best defensive pg in the game is also crazy fast an elite shooter and an elite slasher release is not incredible even on very quick but it's smooth and easy to green it's just not super fast but the movement is incredible the slashing is obviously going to be insane he's the best slasher and defensive pg in the game and the fact that he can still shoot at a capable level and he's an elite playmaker is good enough for me to be a top three point guard even without an incredible release luke is coming in at number two for me i think luke is the best three hunting card in my team he's also six seven with a good big player build hot spots from everywhere uh, and i think the three hunting is my favorite part about this card if you don't love dribbling and three hunting that's okay for me though i think it makes this card even better uh his stats are really really good all the way around of course but the animations are the part that make luca so good for me kpj base rudy gay upper on very quick is cash money i love the rudy upper trey leaner of course is incredible his sigs are incredible as well trey size up trey escape lily behind the back has quick drops off one the best dunk animation in the game as well as front clutches the second best dunk animation in the game so he's got incredible dunk animations top tier sigs basically the best you can have basically the best release you can have he's the best three hunting card in the game and i think that's good enough for me to put him at number two but number one is going to be nikola Jokic. i think you just can't compete with the size that he has at 611 with a 73 wingspan the completeness stat and badge wise uh with 40 hall of fame badges as a base card incredible all-around stats and incredible size at 611 but also having an elite release pascal base oscar upper on very quick normal leaner mj dribble style curry size of wall escape a little bit behind the back gives some great six and quick drops off one he's not going to be the the three hunting shot creator of a guy like Luca. He's not quite going to be the slasher that Ben is or the defender that Ben is, but in terms of the complete package at point guard, being able to do everything at an incredibly elite level, I think Jokic is your best bet in the game right now. And for me, just by a small margin, I do believe that Nikola Jokic is the best point guard in NBA 2K23, my team. So I got to say, this list was really tough to make. We got some elite level cards that are not ranked quite as high as y'all might think. I would love to hear y'all's thoughts in the comment section down below of who you think I maybe ranked too high or too low if there's anybody you think i left out the list that doesn't deserve a top 10 spot i understand it's kind of controversial but this is just my opinion and this is what i'm gonna go with with my top 10 point guards so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace